Good day, everyone. I know I haven't been uh, on YouTube that much lately with any new videos, um, but I figured this was definitely video worthiness. Um, so the last couple days I've been installing this new uh, original tractor cab in my uh, John Deere X590 tractor. I had a couple videos on it uh, last year, I believe, the tractor itself. I just got it last year, so. Um, yes, it is in my basement right now because I wanted to do it where it was warm. It's fall here in Maine, so it's a little chilly out right now, but uh, this is quite the process to install the cab for the first time, but that's what it looks like. Um, it is a soft panel cab with a hard top. Um, I put some accessories on it, but uh, it's pretty self-explanatory in terms of install. Um, so I figured this video is gonna be good to just go over um, the cab itself and the accessories I put onto it. Uh, real quickly about the tractor, it's been just over a year now they've had it. I've had no problems with it. I absolutely love it. Um, it's definitely the best tractor I've ever had. Uh, if you remember from my previous video, it's with power steer and has no choke. Um, has the diff lock on it. Has the largest engine they make for this series tractor. Has a bunch of different stuff that uh, really, you know, those big tires there. Um, plenty of power. I, I really bought it for the snow blowing, not just the mowing. So. Uh, my furnace may kick on here in a second, so I apologize if it gets loud, but uh, that's the cab from the outside. You can see I have some uh, lights there in the back, the strobe light in the front. Um, I'll go over that here in a second, just kind of walking around it a little bit. So you got the hard top, which is like a fiberglass plastic. See uh, the two lights in the front, the strobe light, windshield wiper, that is a glass uh, windshield, which is an added option for this particular cab so uh, that's that so if you go in the inside this has like a little handle here you open up um it's pretty sturdy i mean it has like steel reinforced uh rods and stuff but again it's not all glass they don't make an all glass cab for this tractor but it's really de it's designed real well so um it is very spacious inside believe it or not um, as you can kind of see uh, The good thing about this thing too is actually let me go inside real quick uh, You can still open your cab Oh no you cap your uh, hood with this so you just pull up on this on both sides uh, Pull it all the way up. It's all velcro and the, the, the uh, Hood will open right up. So it actually doesn't interfere with that. However, it's it's a really good fit Like you can see down here like you're not gonna get any snow that blows in from the sides or anything so um, there are a lot of bolts to this. Uh, in reality, there are, um, just to mount it to the, the tractor itself, there are, let's see, six, seven, eight, 16, eight in the back and eight in the front that really mount this to the cab. So uh, I was told by John Deere, because they actually put these on for people. Um, I was told by John Deere that you can theoretically move those eight bolts and have two people lift the cab right off so you don't actually take everything apart like you did when you put it together. So they say it goes pretty quick once you get it put, put together once. So I'll get in here, I'll show you the couple of different things that I, that I did. Um, so one of the things I added to this, uh, you can see it flashing here in the corner, um, is a charging port for a battery tender now this was the cutout for your power chute like if you wanted to put the electronic control on the mower deck um to you know allow for you to use mulching or not mulching so that was a cutout that was already there and they actually the this genesis brand um battery tender sells this plugging thing that goes in here um not just for the tractor but any any place that has that little cutout so it's a charger or a battery tender. So when I'm done using it for the day, um, I can plug it in here. It's just a plug and play. You know, I have the battery tender over there. I'll show it to you in a couple minutes. Um, and it just plugs right in here. And the good thing about this is when you put this away for the day, after using all the accessories on it and snow blowing with it and it's cold out, you can let it tend the battery until you use it next time. So you always have a full battery. Um, and this is kind of recommended by the dealer to put a battery tender on it. Uh, of course, this is my idea here, but um, the dealer recommended that I would tend it when I'm not using it because the accessories I'm adding. And he told me that the reality of it is none of these tractors have a real great output alternator on it. Um, he said, so you're gonna draw your battery down even at full throttle 
um, with the different accessories, and I'll show you those in just a second because uh, I told him what I wanted to put on it. So that's what he recommended. So I definitely took his advice to do that. I always want my battery to be good. He said it's good to exercise the batteries as well with one of those chargers. So that was one of them. Um, again, this is the this is the glass windshield um, with the windshield wiper. I'm gonna go out real quickly here because I wanted to show you something on this side that I also added. So down here, I don't know if you can see it. Um, down here is a power port for my cab. So if you come up here, you can see where I ran the, the loom down for the power. So I have a power and a ground that goes up to my uh, roof of my cab, which I'll show you what I what I did up there. But um, it comes all the way down here, and it's all zip tied down except for right here, where I actually have a power port. And you can't see it. I apologize for the video, but I drilled a hole, and I actually it's a it's a plug and play power port. So essentially, I just pull this plug right out. Um, it disconnects the electrical system with the cab from the tractor. So um, that's all tied into the battery. Uh, that was the added time and in installing the cab too. But that's all protected by loom and. Um, it works good there. So there's plenty of footroom. You can kind of see where the where the uh, you had to trim your mats a little bit to get it to fit right. But all in all, it fits really, really nice. Um, and you can see with how tight that is up against the tractor here. All right. So for the kind of added part here. So up top, there we go. So I built a wooden like console type thing um, and as you can see I have a couple different things up here so we'll we'll start over here um, so this is the power distribution center that I installed so um, it's just a fuse box I don't know if you can kind of see so that's how I kind of uh, wired everything together and made sure everything was fused the way it should so my main power coming in which is from the loom that I showed you coming up the post there uh, power and the grounds in the back um, and then all the other accessories powered off from that coming out uh, your grounds are all in the back um, so that's the power distribution center this is the the wooden uh, overhead console if you will um, that I built and um, essentially all I had to do was uh, obviously a lot of measurements and trimming but um, I use the existing brackets that come off from the post. I just, the only thing I had to supplement are the bolts. So I had to get longer bolts, which aren't a big deal. And then I left this cut out here so you could actually reach out back to do, to do the bolting. Um, but other than that, all the wires are hidden behind there. Um, the stud for the strobe light, that's the only thing that's exposed. And then the stud in the back of the tractor for the rear light. But So this is the windshield wiper. Um, kit that you can get with the um, tractor you can see it's right there it is electronic so you just hit it like that and it'll do the windshield wiper um, so they do have the hand crank manual but it's cheaper obviously um, and more pain in the butt in my opinion um, so next you have the switch so I bought this a lot of this stuff I bought on Amazon the heater the switches the uh, power distribution box, all that stuff I bought on Amazon. The only thing I had to build was this, obviously, the, the wooden thing, and I just painted it black. Um, so the first thing you got here is, uh, so it's like a little switch panel. Um, the first one uh, is your lights, which are your front clear lights, and then your rear scene light. And it comes with the label, so you can label whatever you want. And then the second one is your um, strobe light, so your white lights in the front and I'll get out and I'll show them to you as well. Um, and then your strobe light um, in the back, you can kind of see it strobing off there a little bit. The light above the uh, tractor is quite bright so it kind of washes out the strobe but kind of see it strobing there a little bit. And then kind of the debated thing on whether I should add this or not is the heater, fan heater thing. Um, so this is a pretty small unit, but I really the purpose of this wasn't to heat the cab because it's not going to do that anyway. It's 150 watt, which is the smallest one they make. Because again, I had to look at 
uh, draw on the battery. So um, this is really just to keep the windshield from fogging up and icing up. And I think it'll serve that purpose. So I'll back here, it's on its own, it has its own switch on the unit. So farthest back is just the fan. So you just hit the fan and then if you want the heat, you pull it towards you. And then it takes about a minute for it to start really pushing out the heat, but it's pretty inexpensive. It's on a swivel base, so you can like twist it and move it wherever you want. I kind of have it where I think it's going to be needed. So, um, and I did all the wiring again for the, you know, I really tried to make it look good and professional. So I did the loom all over the place. Um, and then the back, you can see it's pretty roomy on the back as well. So that's just the wiring for the um, light the white line in the back. Um, so I will go turn on, let's start with the strobe. So it's not like the brightest strobe in the world, but it's definitely gonna suffice for what I need it to do. Um, I permanently mounted everything, obviously, because it's plastic. And the, um, all the holes, everything I filled was in like a, um, a caulking, so. And then we'll do the white light. So that's the white light in the back. And it's actually pretty bright. It's hard to tell with the camera, but that's all right. Shut that up. And then, so of course, once I get this outside and at nighttime, I'll adjust these lights, but they just swivel. Um, there's a a set screw right there that I loosen and I can swivel this up and down pretty much any any amount that I want. Um, we'll see how long these lights last. I paid $15 for the two of them, so who knows. But the good thing is the brackets are exchangeable for other ones, so you can um, replace them if you need to. But I didn't want to spend a ton of money on it. Um, if you have any more questions about this setup, let me know, post at the bottom of my YouTube channel here on this particular video. I will uh, post the items that I bought for this cab, um, including the cab itself, uh, on my YouTube channel, so you can kind of see what I purchased. Um, but if you have any more questions about that, well, I know a lot of people are gonna ask about the wiring, probably fuses, draw, that type of thing. I know I did when I was setting this up. Um, I haven't quite used this yet, so. We'll see, uh, we'll see how this draws on the battery or whatnot, and we'll see how it does. I might have to do something different, but for now, I think it's gonna work. Um, so that's, that's about it. Uh, before we go, I'll just kinda quickly tell you what I did buy for, from Amazon, though. So again, we talked about the heating fan. That was like 25 bucks. The switches, that was like 10 bucks for that whole panel. Uh, that was like 15 bucks, came with the fuses. Um, again, I built a console. The light I bought actually at uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts for like 35 bucks. These lights I bought for 15 something a piece, or uh, excuse me, for a pair. So I bought two boxes of those. So for 30 bucks, I got four of them. I have a spare, obviously, because I only use three. Um, they're like a weird, you can kind of see right there, O-E-D-R-O. -O. I don't even know, probably made in China or something which is probably why they're not gonna last very long, but uh, the strobe light is a Wolo. I think that's how you pronounce it, W-O-L-O. -O. Decent brand, it's been around forever. Um, you know, it's not your wheeling, but it's definitely a good brand. Windshield wiper kit that was ordered with the company that had the tractor cab as well as the glass insert. Um, so real quickly on the prices for the cab. So the cab itself for the 300 series and the X500 series, John Deere's, was a thousand ninety five bucks. Um, that does not include the windshield wiper kit or the glass kit. So with everything total, it was like fifteen fifty, uh, so fifteen hundred bucks, which is a little pricey. But when you snow blow in the winter time, if you do it a lot, you know exactly what it feels like to get snow blown back in your face and on you, and you get soaked and cold. So I didn't have to deal with that this year. So I made the investment. Um, my plan is really is to keep this cab on probably throughout the year. We'll see how it works. 
and all I'm going to do is remove the doors, which are pretty simple. There's a like a C-clamp thing here, and there's one at the bottom down there with one bolt on each one. So you take those and the door comes right off. Um, and it doesn't really add any structural integrity to the frame, so it doesn't impact its like sturdiness. So we'll see, we might just do that and go from there. But uh, let's cut these off since my tractor's not running. But it will be interesting. I'm gonna mow my lawn today and it's gonna be interesting to see how the battery will last on the butt. Uh, other than that, that's that's it. I'll kind of get a wide out view again. This is my basement, so I apologize. But, um, that's kind of what it looks like right there. All right, thank you for watching. And again, if you have no questions, post it right down below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, thank you.